is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue Daniel and the Lion's Dead. Let's read. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jewish to their own country, Babylon. So God's people again disobeyed it. Like every time when they have bad things, they have obeyed God. But like if when they have uh, when they're living good, then they start to disobey God every time. So God let the, their enemies to take over them. Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Babylon... Oh, sorry. Daniel was the Jewish also. But he obeyed God. And he prayed to God every three days, like three times. So God blessed Daniel, and Daniel became a leader, powerful leader in that country. He was a leader of the wise men. And someone was jealous of Daniel. <laughs> They're jealous of Daniel. Because Jill, because Daniel was Jewish. And he became a leader. So leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. Darius agreed. So like, hmm, so some of them were jealous of, <coughs> were jealous of Daniel. So like, they were trying to like, find their faults, but <laughs> like, Daniel didn't have any faults to find. So, and they saw that Daniel was praying to God. So the people thought that, oh, we can't. Make so Daniel gone into the dying dead. Oh, what I'm saying, sorry, like <laughs> I am. <laughs> so they have made a new rule that they all people should <coughs> pray only the king. God bless Daniel and made him a powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God. He was arrested. Darius was sad because he liked Daniel. He realized he had been trusted but couldn't change the rule. 
Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So like Daniel knew the rule, but <coughs> he had prayed to God every day. So he was being thrown into the dire lion's den because the king doors was stabbed because like Daniel was a great leader. But King couldn't would change the role again. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. So like Daniel was so Daniel has thrown into the lion's set. And with Daniel, I find Daniel, I think I will not pray to God. Like, I think, or I will pray God secretly. But like, Daniel knew that it was a right thing to do. So, first time there. Lion's rod that like <coughs> an angel came and shut his mouth in mouth. Wow. Oh. Question Was Daniel Red arrested and thrown into the lion's death because he prayed to God? Yes. Daybreak, Doris went up to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said the king was drilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den <coughs> so that day Doris has gone there. And checked Daniel, but Daniel was alive. We have found the battle down. So like Daniel said, oh no, sorry. God has helped me. Then King Doris <coughs> had Daniel's enemies thrown into the lion's dead. The lions grumbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So what Daniel showed it is a real God. So they lived happily ever. Not really. Maybe. <laughs> And their enemy was injured into the lion's den. Question When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, God's angel put Protect him from what kind of animal? Number three, the lion. <coughs> yes, today I read the Bible story, visit and die, then next time I will read another good story. Now let's see you next time. Bye!